Uh, could you just feel this was a, an unusual game for you guys as far as giving up the number of big plays you did and, and the number of big penalties that you had to, to go on top of that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously it was very unusual. I just feel like we couldn't, nothing was like really on our side. And uh, those big plays hurt, and especially like to go out like that, that, that just stings the pride, stings the soul, and uh, just shows that we got a lot of things to fix up. And uh, we got to grow from it. What did that tell you about the roughing the pass penalty? What, what could you have done differently? Honestly, I, I hit my own teammate. I didn't even touch him. I mean, the thing is just, I mean, I mean, we're playing football at the end of the day. Like, I mean, when you're playing football, quarterback's going to get hit. I mean, you come outside the pocket, you're bound to get hit. So, I mean, I think we should be playing football, not tag. You know what I mean? I'm not here to support anybody and play tag like he's my best friend. I got a job to do, and I see he's outside the pocket, so I'm going out to the quarterback. I mean, like I said, nothing could go our way. Michael, 14 penalties for each team. How does that impact the flow of the game? I mean, when you talk talking about three phases and you're talking about special teams, offense, and defense, obviously crucial penalties are going to hurt, and it's not very disciplined football. So on our side, I don't care what they had. We got to fix things. Um, and, you know, as long as they fixable things, I ain't see anything out there that was, like, unfixable or unusual. It's things that we could work on ourselves and our, we could get better at. So many when you have as many penalties as you did defensively tonight, especially on third down situations, does that impact how you play defense or do you kind of wonder what's going to be called? Or Yeah, I mean, I, I feel bad for my guys because I know some of them penalties was, you know, 50-50. Some would say really bad calls, but it, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, I think they, football is an aggressive game. And – you're going to attack the ball, and you're going to play through the ball, and you're going to play the defender. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's going to come to a point in time is where you're going to let us truly play. I mean, I come out here because I love the game. I love to play. And I'm pretty sure every guy who plays out there on that field has the same mindset as me. And you don't play the game soft, and you can't play the game conservative. you got to be aggressive. you got to be dominant. And um, I don't want them guys to change their play style at all because I know – Every week they're going to play with that play style, and I don't want them to change anything because I know they're going to be all right, and we're going to fix those details, and we're going to get better from this. Michael, was there a conversation had moving you from the inside back to the outside? It seemed like you were in third down, you were in the middle a lot early, and then you went to the outside and made an impact on the game when you did. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously uh, it was a bunch of chip looks, so they wanted to show some different looks and different personalities, and, you know, uh, I think – Daryl Lyon was doing a good job in, doing, in the interior, and Derek was doing a good job getting the ball off. So um, I just said I'd rather just stay on the outside, and we just made an early adjustment. Michael, what is the philosophy of this team after three losses in four weeks, and how can you all correct that by New Orleans? I mean, first we just got to get healthy, and we got to get everybody back, and um, we got to move forward. Another game, it's an opportunity to learn, another opportunity to grow. It doesn't change anything where we're trying to go. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, we still got to finish the football season. This game's not going to define. We still got New Orleans next week, another good team. And uh, that's what we're going to worry about after we do the corrections.